Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we shall be taking example number two on set theory. A survey of bread consumers in a certain school revealed that 51 liked high quality bread, 49 liked crunchy bread, 60 liked happy food bread, 34 liked high quality and crunchies. 32 liked crunchies and happy food bread. 36 liked high quality and happy food bread. 24 liked all three. 1 liked none of the three bread vendors. We have to answer the following questions. A. How many people were surveyed? B. How many liked happy food but not crunchies? C. How many liked crunchies or happy food? D. How many liked exactly one of the three vendors? E. How many liked two of the vendors? So, like we did in example one, the first step is to carefully bring out all the parameters you know given in the problem. Now there are three sets of students here. One, the set of those who love high quality. The other set is those who love crunchy bread, and the other set is those who love um, happy food bread. And of course, there's someone who loves none of the above. So let's start. So let Q be the set of those that like or loved what? High quality bread. High quality bread. So what we have, so we're using the data Q to represent the set of those who like high quality bread. And let C represent the set of those that like crunchy bread, that like crunchy bread, and of course let H represent the set of those that like happy food, that like happy food. So we are told, you know, in the problem that number that the number of persons that like high quality bread were fifty one. We are told also the number of those that like crunchy bread on the problem are 49. Number of those that liked high quality bread were 60. The number of those that liked high quality bread and crunchy bread were 34. We are told also that the number of those that like crunchy bread and high quality bread the intersection were 32. I also told that the number of those that liked high quality bread and happy food bread were 36. The number of those that liked the three bread vendors that liked high quality intersection crunches, intersection happy food were 24. And we are told in the problem also that there was one person there that liked none of the three vendors. Who's the person? So, number of those who were not in high quality union, crunches, union, happy food, compliment. Compliment means the person was not in Q, in C, in H, and their union. Equal to what? Just one person. We now represent the information on our Venn diagram. So, we have three subsets here. So, one, two, Three. And of course, they are all enclosed within the bigger set, which is the universal set. So we have here Q for high quality. We have C for crunches. We have H for those, for set of those who liked high and happy food bread. We are told that 51 of them liked high quality. So 51 liked high quality 49 like crunches so 49 liked crunches 60 liked happy food 60 liked happy food and like i said in the last example that the very first portion to fill out on the venn diagram is or should always be the intersection of the three sets in the last example we had two sets so in that case it would be the intersection of the two sets you are told that 24 persons liked high quality 
crunches and happy food. So the intersection is 24. And we are told that one person, you know, liked none of the three vendors, bread vendors. So that one person doesn't belong to high quality, doesn't belong to crunches, doesn't belong to um, happy food. However, he is still in the school. So we put him somewhere. One person is out there. So, you know, as I said this year, we do not know what that is. Having done this, we now continue. So we have that. The number of, of persons who liked high quality and crunches were 34. So this is high quality, this is crunches. So number of those who liked high quality and crunches were 34 in number. So where does high quality and crunches meet? They meet here. They meet here. High quality and crunches meet at these two points. However, out of the 34 persons, you know, that loved high quality and crunches, 24 of them loved high quality crunches and happy food so how many left 34 minus 24 is 10. so of the 34 persons that like high quality and crunches 24 liked the three and 10 liked only high quality and crunches so we have represented this one we are told also that 32 persons liked crunches and high quality so crunches and high quality Intersection of those two subsets is this region here. These two places, high quality and crunches. And we are told that 32 persons liked both bread vendors. So 32, we have 24. So we take 24 from 32, what we have here is 8. So that 24 plus 8 is still 32. So 24 of them liked the three bread and 8 of them liked high quality and crunches without liked happy food and crunches with a high quality we are also told that 36 of them liked high quality and, and happy food so high quality and happy food they intersect in this region in that region these two regions but out of, out of the 36 persons that liked um, high quality and happy food 24 of them likes the three so what we have left is 12 so that 12 for 24 gives us 36 persons that liked high quality and crunches. Now there are three portions of our Venn diagram that are left to be filled out. One, two, three. Now who are those in this portion? These are those who liked high quality and did not like crunches, did not like happy food. So number of those who liked high quality but not crunches and not happy food. So Q intersection C complement intersection H complement. And that gives us what? So 12 of so these persons here like high quality and happy food. 24 like high quality, happy food and crunches. 10 like high quality and crunches. We want to know the number of those who like high quality without crunches, you know, and happy food. So there are 51 persons, you know, that liked high quality. So to get the number of those who loved just high quality we subtract you know the sum of this the sum of these three regions that intersect with high quality from 51 so that gives us 51 minus 12 plus 24 plus 10 minus 12 plus 24 plus 10 and that gives us 51 minus 46 equal to 5 so five persons out of 51 loved or liked high quality bread alone they did not like crunches they did not like happy food same thing happens here out of the 49 persons that like crunches bread eight liked crunches and happy food only 10 liked crunches and high quality bread only however 24 of them liked crunches happy food and um, high quality so we want to know those that liked crunches alone so we'll now subtract the sum of these three regions here from 49. So this portion is number of those who liked crunches and not high quality and not happy food bread. So C intersection Q complement intersection H complement is this region. And that gives us 49 minus 10 plus 24 plus 8 minus 10 plus 24 plus 8. 
and that gives us 49 minus 42 equal to 7. So 7 persons liked crunches and not high quality and happy food. The last, region is, last portion is this. So this portion here represents the number of persons that liked happy food, did not like high quality and did not like crunches. In other words, the number of persons that liked only happy food. So we take the sum 8, 24, 12 and subtract from 60. So the number of those that liked high quality, that like happy food, I beg your pardon, did not like high quality and did not like crunches bread. So we have that H intersection Q complement, intersection C complement. And that is 60 minus 12 plus 24 plus 8 plus 24 plus 8. And that gives us 60 minus 44 equal to 60. So 16 persons liked high quality, liked happy food bread only and not crunches and high quality bread. Now that our Venn diagram has been completely you know, filled out, we can now go back to our, our questions and the answers of job is staring us at the face or in the face. First question is, how many people were surveyed? Now to get the number of those who were surveyed, what do we do? We add up every portion of our Venn diagram, including the one man, that belong to none of the sets. So the number of those in the universal set is equal to 5 plus 16 plus 7 plus 8 plus 10 plus 12 plus 24. Of course, plus the one man out here plus 1. If you add that up, you get 83. So universal said u is equal to 83, meaning that 83 persons were surveyed all together. So the question says, how many liked happy food but not crunches? From our Venn diagram, it's obvious that only 16 persons liked, you know, happy food but not crunches. Because 8 persons here liked happy food and crunches. But 16 persons only liked happy food and not crunches. So that is what 16. C. How many liked crunches or happy food? If you recall, the all here means how many liked you know happy food or crunches or happy food or both of them. So we take the sum of all those who belong to happy food as well as crunches. So we have seven persons here loved crunches only. Eight persons here loved crunches and happy food. Twenty-four persons here loved happy food, crunches, and high quality, but they liked high quality. They like crunches and um, happy food, so twenty-four. Ten persons here liked crunches and high quality, but they also like crunches, so ten. Plus sixteen persons here loved happy food only, so sixteen, and twelve persons here loved happy food. And high quality plus 12. So these are all the persons who loved high quality or happy food. So we sum this up, you get 77. The D part. How many liked exactly one of the three vendors? So back to our Venn diagram, you see that seven persons here liked crunches, crunches bread only, and they didn't like any other vendor. So 7 persons liked crunches only, 16 persons liked happy food bread and did not like any other one, plus 16, plus 5 persons liked high quality bread and did not like any other bread vendor, plus 5. If you sum that up, you get 28. So 28 persons, you know, loved exactly one bread vendor only. And the last question says, how many liked two of the vendors? Here we see that eight persons here liked two vendors. They liked crunches, they crunches and happy food. So eight persons they liked two. Twelve persons here liked high quality and happy food. Plus twelve. Ten persons also liked high quality and crunches. Plus ten. So these are the, 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 the set of people that liked exactly two vendors. So
So 8 plus 12 plus 10, that gives us what? 30. And that's how we go about, you know, solving what problems, you know, in set theory. Please do not fail to subscribe to my channel, drop a comment and also like the page. Thank you and bye-bye.